All right, guys, we got some more Habs related news to cover here today. As you know, there were a couple of interviews that were conducted after the Habs team practice yesterday that was rather humorous. So we're going to go over a couple of quotes yesterday from Drouin, Weber, and Dominique Ducharme. And as well, we'll talk a little bit about the Alex Chieson incident where he bumped into Carey Price during last game against the Oilers, which resulted in a concussion. But for First, if you're a fan of the Habs or just hockey in general, please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy if you guys tagged along for the ride. Now, first things first here. I want to get this out of the way early because I know many of you guys already added Alex Chase on to your personal hit list. So I'm here to, you know, intervene and try and convince you to remove him from this list. As the guy was asked about the carry price incident yesterday and he admitted that he did apologize to Price after it happened and he also hopes that Price is doing all right he said you know it was unintentional and to be honest I believe him I mean they're hockey players right they're trained to do this kind of shit look at guys like Gallagher and Perry they make their living right in front of the net that's for sure I think we've all seen our fair share of Brendan Gallagher and the crease guys so yeah it would be kind of hypocritical to complain about what Chieson did here no now, as for the Chris Kreider incident a few years back, yeah, you can keep him on the hit list, guys. <laughs> anyway, let's hope Carey's concussion symptoms go away soon, as the Habs are definitely gonna need him, whether we want to admit it or not. Now, with that out of the way, it's time to look at some recent comments that were made yesterday by Shea Weber and Jonathan Drouin during a little Zoom meeting with a bunch of Meatball Media members right after the Habs practice. Okay, so first, it's Shea Weber. You know, the media brings up his poor play and stuff, and Weber, he gets a little snarly here and says, hey, look, guys, it's a team sport, right? There ain't no need to talk about it. Yeah, he gives them the old, hey, it ain't just me, bro. It's the entire team playing like a can of smashed assholes right now. Then, you know, you can't really see this part, and I might be making this up, but he's probably looking at them and whispering to them like, hey, listen. Leave me the hell alone here, guys. There's this guy. His name is Drouin. He's going to be in here in like four minutes. And uh, maybe you should ask him how many goals he scored this season, huh? And the guys from the media were like, whoa, ho, 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 that's a great idea. Let's get his ass in here. So, then Drouin comes in, he sits down, you know, he's looking like a kid going to a principal's office, just waiting to get his lunch fed to him. And that's when he gets asked what he can do about not scoring a goal in 25 games. Yeah, <laughs> shots fired. Bang, bang. And Drouin looks at them and, you know, he's got two options here. One, he can cry. Two, he can grab the shovel and try and dig his ass out of this mess. And Drouin elects for option number two as he says, quote, There's another column on the right, too, if you want to look at that. And boom! The Thug Life theme plays in the background and the media reporter gets absolutely owned by Drouin. Now, Drouin would also go on to say that Dominique Ducharme held a very intense practice yesterday and he mentioned how how important the next stretch of games are. Now listen, while you guys are probably looking at this and thinking, yeah, but Weber and Drouin are both still trash, man. I know, okay? I know they're struggling. But you have to put yourselves in their shoes or skates right now. Imagine being thrown in the doghouse, okay? You can't buy a goal at this point. Everybody is pointing their finger at you and then you have to sit down in front of a bunch of guys, some of them who haven't even played hockey before, and they're sitting there asking you uncomfortable questions. And then when it's all over, they go and blast your response all over the internet and TV. Like, come on, you're gonna snap eventually for shiznizzle. That's my thoughts anyway. Are they both playing bad this year? Hell yeah, they are. But I do understand their response in this situation. Dominique Ducharme also spoke to the media here, and here's what he had to say about the addition of John Merrill. Quote, he's an experienced player. We watched a lot of video on guys before they get to the rink, but we get better answers on the ice. We got a look at his skill set out there, but it was just a practice. It also was his first time skating in a week. There are a number of factors to take into account, but we'll have some time on the ice in the morning. We're going to have an optional skate. He'll skate, so we'll make a decision about his playing status then. But we definitely want to see him in a game to evaluate what he can bring to the team. So yeah, he didn't really come out and confirm that John 
John Miro will be playing in tonight's game against Edmonton, but I think it's safe to assume that, yes, we are going to see him. Or at least, that's what I take from this anyway. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and leave me a comment down below, as I enjoy interacting with you guys in the comment section. And as usual, go Habs go, and see you next time.